I'm here at the Six Flags Magic Mountain theme park in Southern California for what is the world's first virtual reality roller coaster. Samsung has designed special virtual reality software that works with its Gear VR headset for a number of rides at the Six Flags chain of theme parks across the US. Each of them is designed to coincide with the movements that you're feeling really on the track in the roller coaster. Here at the Magic Mountain Park, the PlayStation-style graphics inside the headset simulate flying over a city in a futuristic fighter jet as you battle off an alien invasion. Think Top Gun meets the Independence Day movies. Whichever way you look, you see the computer-generated world all around you. This concept, or at least the novelty factor, seems to have captured people's imagination. Many have been lining up for more than an hour in the baking Californian heat for a few minutes on this ride, which is called the New Revolution. For many, it is their first time trying VR at all, and they will discover both the visceral excitement this technology can create, and the extra hassle involved in having to wear it on their face. I just took a ride on the roller coaster, uh, both with the headset and without, because we had some technical hitches to start with. Uh, and those aside, it is a great fun experience, but it is definitely scarier with the headset than without, because you feel as though you're flying, you have no sense of where you're going in the real world, so you don't see the track coming ahead of you to give you a sense of the twists and turns that are coming up. And uh, even when you're flying through what seems like you're smashing through the walls of a building, uh, you go through a little tunnel area and suddenly feel cool and in the shadow. So it's a great mix of reality and virtual reality. This particular ride is 40 years old this year and was perhaps in need of some spicing up. While it was certainly more exciting thanks to virtual reality, I'm not sure that VR really needs a roller coaster to provide thrills and spills. I think I'll keep my feet on the ground next time I go for a virtual ride. Tim Bradshaw, Financial Times at Magic Mountain.